Pies have long been a favourite Christmas stocking filler, and this factory in Shropshire has been making traditional bears for more than 90 years. Today, we're making a brand new Christmas bear. It takes a quarter of a metre of plush to make my 10-inch tall Christmas bear. And like all the Teds here, he's formed from 21 pieces. Ian cuts the plush using sharp metal shapes. With all my pieces cut, it's time to stitch them together. Lisa starts by sewing each piece inside out so the seam doesn't show when it's turned fluffy side out. This special bear also has decorative velvet paw pads embroidered with delicate festive flowers. And next, it's Sarah's responsibility to put a twinkle in his eye. Then we get the eye and we push it up through that hole. The safety washers hold the eyes firmly in place. And push it right down. Slightly scary. <laughs> but he definitely needs some Christmas stuffing. His squidginess comes from recycled plastic bottles, melted down and spun into fibres, just as soft as traditional wool stuffing. Each bear gets 125 grams of stuffing. Too soft and he won't sit up. Too much, he won't be cuddly. <laughs> now he needs a bit of inner support. So his legs and arms are joined to his body, forming movable hips and shoulders. The earliest teddies had joints made of string, but in 1905, that was replaced by more durable metal disc joints, which give my bear movement. And to see if he's happy with his newfound flexibility, I'm taking my teddy to meet Terry. So you hand sew the nose and the mouth on? Yeah, we do. Do you ever sew a grumpy bear by mistake? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Terry judges the number of stitches needed to create each bear's perfect black nose. Every bear has his own character. Is he done? Oh, he's so amazing. <laughs> Look at him. Terry's mum, Denise, sews the bear's intricately embroidered fur and cotton coats. And my Ted is getting spruced up by Samantha, ready for his Christmas party. People love buying bears for Christmas. Yes. Why do you think that is? Because it's something they can keep. A bear is not just for Christmas, it's a gift for life. Of course, of course. <laughs> Finally, I have the honour of dressing my Ted in his red coat, the first of the new bears off the production line. Look at that. Oh.